What are some subtle signs a person is not quite all right mentally? Difficulty to make simple decisions, hypersensitiveness of any kind of criticism. My brother is very repetitive. He will ask you something, yeah I'll answer. The conversation around you will continue and a few minutes later he will ask again, maybe a little different. This will happen again and again, him asking the same question in a different way with long pauses in between, almost as though he's trying to get you to answer a certain way. Eventually he will just get up and leave the room, dissatisfied. Sometimes he will text me days later, confirming my answer to the question. It's so fucking weird but harmless. He's diagnosed schizophrenic. Speech patterns are a good indication. Mania can make people talk really fast or depression can make people not speak at all. How they speak, the words used, can also indicate issues. It's best to just ask if they are okay. Isolation from other people. Little to no social battery because in their minds they think they are bothersome to people or that other people would not really notice them gone anyway. For me, it's isolation. I haven't been okay in years, so now I work nights and barely interact with anyone. I've become so isolated I don't even know how to integrate back into society or communicate properly. Appetite is also an indicator. When I stop eating and lose weight rapidly, something is very wrong. I'm usually hoping for death by starvation. Cancelling plans making excuses not to do things lack of motivation disinterest in normal activities hygiene lacking even simply not brushing hair or teeth especially if it's out of the normal putting less effort into appearance messy house unable to cook or stay on top of normal tasks defensive and hypersensitive irritable sleeping more or less eating more or less drinking more alcohol smoking spending eating or taking drugs more frequently getting in trouble at work with the law for things like traffic offenses fixation or obsession with certain things could be anything on higher alert on edge failing in study taking time off work more interest in things that make you withdrawn from socializing such as spending way more time on the internet or listening to music more shy and nervous less involved with conversations or more embarrassed when talking to people this is what i experience when my mental state starts faltering anyway lives in filth and squalor severe depression and other mental illnesses impair your executive functioning and motivation so tending to basic hygiene and cleanliness is extremely difficult Ever talk to someone for a while, like know the guy for months, and realize one day you don't really know anything about them? Can't recall them ever mentioning a family member or even a favorite color. Maybe you went out to eat a few times and they always insisted you pick the restaurant. Like they are scared to let you know anything about them. They are perfectly friendly. Get you to talk about yourself, listen to you ramble about your hyper fixations. But when you try to talk to them about them they suddenly don't have anything to say. I've met a few people like this and most of the time I never figure out what's up, but a few times I've gotten them to open up about being bullied or emotionally abused as a kid. As someone who's been there and seen others suffer, I have some to contribute, sudden changes in behavior reckless, behavior lack of motivation very high highs and very low lows mood swings changes in appetite over undereating. If you know someone who has been really depressed and suddenly they seem very happy it can be a sign that they decided they are going to kill themselves and are happy with their decision and glad it will all be over soon. Folks who consistently lose their composure and get angry at the drop of a hat whenever they face any kind of criticism or challenge. I am not enjoying this post lol when they adopt a religious mindset that is closer to superstition about every single thing in life. I am not disparaging all religion. But when a person starts thinking the Archangel Gabriel is walking in their garden when the branches move in the wind or attribute absolutely every single thing, like a napkin falling, to God's plan something is wrong. Impulsiveness. It seeps into every crevice of their lives. Whether in relationships, identity, decision making, money. They are literally unsettled mentally. Will drop people just as fast as they bring them in. Not always, but slight comments that are insults to their own character, a bit of self-deprecation could be chalked up to acknowledging how you act sometimes. But if it's constant and nearly all the time, then maybe check in on them. If someone checks in on people a lot, they might either be a worrywart, just care a lot about their friends, or perhaps just looking for a bit of help themselves, but want to make sure nobody else needs it, too. Reading some of these comments I think I got some issues. Posting a lot of motivational quotes on social media. Things about not engaging with toxic people etc. A lot of people might say to look out for people who are weird, but the real sign is to look out for people who lash out randomly. The child who is not embraced by the village will burn it down to feel its warmth. They lie a lot. 